Hello, I hope you're doing swell and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Alexis. I would love it if you stuck around. I post videos a few times a week and it's mainly The Sims, so if you like The Sims, go ahead and join. But today we are back at this challenge that I've been doing. It's basically like let's make over the townies. So I created a separate save file for the townies because doing it within the astrology challenge, they were just aging up and then and also just um, the story progressions was adding new people to the town as well and I kind of wanted to get them situated first and then have new people added by story progression so just to combat some of that I decided to just put everyone in a new save file but since we are over in Willow Creek since the astrology challenge is over here as well um, I'm just gonna keep doing Willow Creek and then we'll move to the other worlds because I have quite a few more packs so this series is probably gonna go on for a long time but it was inspired by Devin Bumpkin here on YouTube he has a series called Let's Build the World and he goes through each world. He makes new townies, he renovates the homes, makes new lots as well. Um, very advanced but I love Aiden's content so much so I'll have him linked down below in the description because literally I binge watch that stuff all day long. Especially with working from home I usually have something on in the background so it seems like I have co-workers with me. But enough rambling. Today I wanted to do the Sp uh, Spencer Kim Lewis household. We're gonna do their makeover first and then the second episode of this we're gonna actually renovate their house. I don't know much about this Spencer Kim Lewis. Um, Let's read it. Let's actually read it instead of hypothesizing about what it is. Um, Okay here's the breakdown. Dennis Kim and Lydia Spencer had a daughter named Alice Spencer Kim then divorced. Alice married Eric Lewis and had their own little girl Olivia Kim Lewis. They live with Alice's dad Dennis, remember? And Eric's mom, Vivian Lewis. Hey, no one said the family was easy. Okay, so it looks like we have Lydia and her dad, uh, Dennis, and then we have Eric and his mom, Vivian, and then Olivia. So we're gonna do a little makeover of the household for today. I'm really excited because usually I see them in the background of a lot of my like let's plays and things along that nature. So I think they're due for a little, little makeover. Um, so we're gonna go through all the household and I'll show you the first outfit of course and then if you haven't seen the rest of the series we're on like episode four or five of this um then I do the other outfits and stuff but I'll explain it along the way so we have Eric Lewis he is a young adult he has a tough walk wait let's see it um, he wants to be a mansion baron. He is business savvy. He's materialistic, a glutton, and also self-assured. And this is what Eric is looking like. I like the bald head. There's probably not much I'm gonna change with him. Um, I will probably just update his clothes because I like the bald head. Vivian, who is his mom, she has, let me see, just a default walk style. <laughs> Let's give her a cute walk, like an energetic walk. I like that. So she is, let me see, she wants a big happy family. She is the domestic, cheerful, family oriented, and a foodie. So that cheerful walk does work with her. But that is sweet Vivian. I like the style. I might change up her hair to give her an updated one from one of the packs. But I like what's going on with Miss Vivian. She looks cute. This is Alice. <laughs> Kim Lewis, um, and she has a default uh, walk as well. Let's give her a perky little walk because it does look like she is childish. So she is a painter extraordinaire. She's a muser, creative, childish, and she loves outdoors. So that is Alice, cute, cute, cute. Dennis, her dad, he has a default walk style too. So let's actually, <laughs> um, or we can give him a vampire one. Kind of want to give him a vampire one, but I won't. Let's do a little goofy walk. That's cute. Okay, so Dennis wants to have a successful lineage. He is also domestic. He is neat, perfectionist, and he loves the outdoors. So that's Dennis. So cute. And last but not least, we have sweet little Olivia Kim Lewis. She is so cute. I'm going to give her the cutest little makeover. Oh, she can't have a walk style, but she is an artistic prodigy. So I'm guessing she gets that from her mom and a goofball. She's so adorable. So. So let's just start off from left to right. We're gonna start off with Eric Lewis. And I kind of like the details he already has, but I do want to go in and maybe change up his eyebrows. I just love these eyebrows so much. Um, they're just so fluffy. They remind me of mine. I feel like as I've gotten older, my eyebrows have gotten a little bit more thinner, but to me, they look super thick. So anywho, 
Um, I want to keep that. Let's see what his teeth look like. Should we give him a little gap? Let's give him a gap so I can't add two of those skin details. Maybe a little smile lines. We'll keep his face, but let me go over to hair. So since Eric doesn't have any hair, he's bald headed. We're not going to change that. I like the bald head, but we might change his beard up because I do want it to be a little bit more thicker. He is a young adult though. I have to remember that. He's not an adult. Okay. Yeah. So maybe some of these laugh lines could go. We'll keep the forehead line, but maybe I will take away Maybe we can we'll keep the laugh lines take away the forehead line so he still looks like a young adult beards that one makes him look so much older but i like this one because you get to see a little bit more of his face and that one's from parenthood Ooh, i think he needs a little bit of stubble maybe we'll do something like this and why is he frowning I don't want him to frown. I'm gonna take the sides of his mouth and just curl him up a little bit so he's smiling. Oh, look, he looks 10 times better already. And all I did was just to change his smile. So he wants to be a mansion baron. So he is very materialistic. So he had on black. So I think I might keep that black color. I usually keep the colors that they already have and kind of update their looks based on their traits to the best of my ability. So let's go by black something that gives bougie because he's a bougie boy like that like that's giving me bougie so ooh, or a nice little turtleneck turtlenecks are always bougie where is that from cats and dogs maybe we'll do that for his every day let's do that and then i'm gonna put a ring on him since he is married and i feel like the sims just don't come with the rings so we're just gonna stick a ring on everyone you're gonna preview what his other outfits look like <laughs> okay yeah we'll do that and then for pants let me see i figured he would wear some like slack maybe not cargo pants something like that are these tidy whities they are i mean those jeans are nice oh i think the slacks look the best maybe something like that with a pop of color because I like the belt on it Ooh, wait I think I like those and I even like it in a default color yeah I think I like them in the gray and so for shoes I'm gonna also filter by black maybe we can find some nice loafers hmm some boots I think he would be more of a loafer boy though something like that but it doesn't match that belt oh that vintage glamour pack is coming in handy because those look like they might be the best fit oh wait no I like those so that was easy Eric you're you were probably the easiest one him the men are usually the easiest ones to give makeovers to so this is Eric's every day and I'm gonna go in and update his formal I'm gonna update athletic his nighttime his party and formal are pretty much the same um I usually have those similar his swim hot weather and then cold weather so i'm gonna update him and we'll do a little reveal and then we'll move on to his mom vivian so i finished eric it didn't take any time at all so this is everyday outfit that we did together i kind of kept the same colors that he just defaulted in and i wanted to also kind of resemble some of his traits so this is the formal i expect that he goes all out with formal and i just thought this brown color looked so good on him this is actually one of the stylized looks and i just think it suits him very well um it's classic but it is just a really pretty color on his skin and for athletic this is eco lifestyle i believe the pants i did filter by preppy as well yeah, eco lifestyle pants, which I actually like a lot. And those shoes are eco lifestyle as well. No, they're Discover University. And the jacket is from Get to Work. So he had the red and the black on anyway. So I just decided to make it a little bit more updated um, and fit his aesthetic a little bit more. And he is a glutton. So uh, I tried to keep that in mind. Um, I did make his hips just a little bit more full because he was kind of narrow hipped. So I wanted to have a little bit more fullness to him. So he's not that much fuller but I think it just um, suits him a little bit better than the really narrow hips on his body frame um, but this is a sleepwear he already had the red top on so I kept that on but I just put these fitted joggers on with some little slippers and then for his party wear I usually do something that's a little bit similar so he still has that brown theme with the sports coat on but I decided to also put these pants on and then these really cool they look like bowling shoes to me but that brown and tan that kind of complements his uh, sports coat and for his swimwear I think this is just base game no it's seasons just a little pop of color with the tie but something that's plain and simple I'm sure we won't ever see him with any of these things on um, but here's the 
hot weather outfit, these pants, base game. They sit really well on his body, so I want to use those. The shoes are from Eco Lifestyle, and the shirt is from Tiny Living. I know my packs. So that is what he's looking like that. And then for cold weather, he already had this blue shirt on. It was a little bit different. It was like an oversized sweater. But I decided to put this base game. And I think this is new because I've never seen this base game zip up. But I kept that and then he also has just some jeans on and then cowboy boots because it's cold. But I'm thinking, I'm like, would he wear a hat on his bald head? He might because I cut my hair maybe like six months ago and it, it's, it gets cold not having hair. So um, we might just put that little hat on. But that's Eric. He's looking cute. And let's go over to his mom, Vivian. So she is domestic. She's very family oriented. She cooks and she's cheerful. And I love the way Miss Vivian looks. She is adorable. I want to change those eyebrows though. I'm thinking she'd have like fierce. Oh, but those are so soft and pretty. I don't think she would have like very thick eyebrows. Maybe something like this. And maybe she would have a little makeup on. So let's actually, I just go all the way down and I just start randomly clicking. I kind of like that one though. Maybe we'll do a little brown. Actually, let me take all the makeup off. Let's go to eyes first. Let's go all the way down. A little smoky with a little highlight on the inner corner. And then I think her eye default already has eyeliner on. That's what it looks like. So we won't touch that. And for cheeks and something that, mm, that's too rosy. That's like more centered around her eyes. Let's try that. And let's put a little, a little matte lipstick on her. Maybe a darker color. Yeah, I like that. So for Miss Vivian, I'm going to filter by Afro Texture and then Short. And just give her something that's a little bit more updated because we do have like this fade, which looks really good on her. Um, We also have this one that also suits Miss Vivian well. Ooh, I like that one though. She has a good head shape or something like this. It's not as coiled as her previous hair so I think I'm gonna keep like the coils but maybe Miss Vivian got some little little twisties like that's cute I kind of like the twisties I never use these and I think they look really pretty on her we're gonna keep that um let's change her earrings maybe we'll come to the earrings afterwards or no let's let's pick the earrings out now she looks so cute okay so she has red she's family oriented okay and a foodie so I I think I'm gonna filter by brown and red. Let's see what we can, that's cute. Like I want her to look hip and young, but not like crop top. <laughs> like just something a little bit more updated, but still like, okay, cute. Oh, I like that sweater. It looks so cozy. Even that's cute. But for some reason it looks like it fits her, like it's too, too small. So it's not fitting her like I would like it to. Oh, that jazzy. Miss Vivian, you okay, girl? <laughs> Y'all, should we do this? Oh, that's cute too. Okay, there's a lot of cute stuff. I'm gonna tiny living sweater. I don't think Miss Vivian would be wearing crop top. And I don't think she would do this either. Maybe something like that. I think that has to be one of my favorites for right now. Or something like this. Because it looks like we could scroll for days. And I don't think I want to scroll all the way down. I think I'm gonna go with this. Where, where is it? This from Seasons. Maybe something that's a little bit more vibrant. But like when I see it in the other colors, I'm not crazy about it. Maybe we'll do this little sweater because that was cute on her. Give her a little pop of green, a little, little fresh spring. And I imagine she also wears slacks. So, oh, that's cute though. Those little low-waisted jeans because you can't tell they're low-waisted because at Cottage Living, those sweaters are just so oversized that they fit really well. We can give her a little slacks though. Oh, those are, oh, that's too cute. We have to use that. Remember that. We have to use that for her uh, summer outfit. But like she... Did she have red on? Let me just filter by red. Cause I like those pants, but I'm not obsessed. See that looks just, just, just doesn't fit right. Mm, she don't like that one. What if we do that? That's really cute. And then let's go, I would say she would be polished. Maybe a little hipster. Find some cute little slacks. Maybe black, do that. And then have her some little black ballet flats on as well. And I bet, Miss Vivian would have on some bracelets. Okay, girl, I'm coming. Something like that. And sorry, the air just came on, so you probably just heard that in the background. So if there's a little muffle, that's what it is. And we're gonna just make all of her nails red. Not the gloves, Miss Vivian. Oh my gosh, girl. I, sw I swear. These, like the townies, they just randomly put all these random clothes on them. So like they have eyeball rings. They have all of the accessories on. It's just a mess. But that's Miss Vivian. She looks cute. So this is her 
everyday outfit. This is the the formal. See, what did I say? They put on stockings. She got on gloves. She got a ring on top. Got the sun hat. She got everything on. Um, athletic. That's cute. I don't know about the glasses, but you do you, Miss Vivian. That's her sleepwear. Her party wear. So I guess for her party wear, she took her twist out. She just got a short. The swimwear. Her hot weather and cold weather. So it looks like it didn't change all the hairstyles. So I have to go in and update those. But I'm gonna get to the rest of her outfits together and then we'll do the final reveal of Miss Vivian. This is Miss Vivian. So this is her everyday outfit. I used this new pack that I recently got. It was one of like the bundles for free on Epic Games. I don't necessarily know the name of it, but this is the outfit which we did together. And then for the formal, I also used the same pack. I just love this print. At least I think it's from, no, this is from Zoe Escape. Okay, so I decided to play up like that rose gold and the purple because a lot of her outfits already had that purple because she's a queen. So we kept with that purple theme on a lot of her outfits but I just think this suits her so well got a little red toes and red nails for every outfit and then these cute shoes so that's Miss Vivian's formal for her athletic um I wanted something that was a little bit fitted because I'm sure she like wants a lot of grandkids and she loves hanging out with Olivia and they do a lot of stuff outside like a park she goes to all of Olivia's like little sports games so I wanted her to be a little bit more sporty less like Nancy Landgrab so we have this fitted like zip up got some little joggers and some adidas shoes on for sleepwear she has her cottage living sleep gown i love this sleep gown so much i actually have one in pink that matches that perfectly that i wear all the time <laughs> But uh, she has some little bunny slippers and then I put some glasses on her and then a cute little bonnet. For party wear, it's pretty much the same as the formal. The only thing that I really changed was the shoes. I just made them closed toe, but she looks really cute. For swimwear, she did have a different bathing suit on. I think it was like black and like tan. But since she had a lot of purple, like I said, I wanted to keep that purple. So we have this cute little purple swimsuit, some little sandals, I think from Jungle Adventure. No, it's from that pack that I don't know the name of. Then I put a little floppy hat on her, some little lip gloss, some hoops, and some sunglasses. For her hot weather, it's from that pack again. Um, But then I chucked on these little black heels and then this base game top. I never use this top, but it tucked really well into these pants and I wanted to use the pants. So that is her summer outfit looking cute. And then for her winter wear, I wanted to use this hat from Cottage Living since she already had the Cottage Living jacket on. I just feel like it's cute it's hip but it's still like giving grandma then she has some little wide-legged pants on boot, boot cut pants from dream home and then some cowboy boots as well that is miss Vivian looking cute and then we're gonna go over to Alice so Alice Alice I was combining Alice and childish but Alice is childish she's a paint protege I might give her some more tattoos and stuff along that nature um, and she is very creative and she loves the outdoors. So maybe we'll do a little bit more of eco lifestyle on her. Um, but let's go in. I do want to change up her hair. Um, I want it to not be to the side. I think I do want it long still. Not afro textured. I mean it could be afro textured. But we're going to make it long. And then maybe wavy. Let me see if there's any new. Oh that's pretty. Even that's really pretty. She is a young adult. Okay so I don't want her to look too grown up. So maybe we'll do something. Thing. Oh, that's cute. I never used that. And that's pretty. But I wonder do they have a darker... Since she's creative, I would imagine that she would have like really pretty pastel color hair. So maybe we'll do this. I think this is our default, that black. So maybe we'll keep that. Hopefully it went to all the outfits. It didn't. And I do want to go ahead and change up her eyebrows. I want to make them a little fluffier. Something like this. And bring them down a little bit. What happens if I make them with that gray tinge? Looks cute. I never use this. So let's do that. Her teeth. Let me see her teeth, girl. Ooh. Should we do gold teeth? Maybe we'll do gold teeth on her dad. We'll put some like little gold caps. But we'll do just regular teeth. And I want to give her a little bit of freckles on her nose. Something like that. Or maybe instead of a freckle, we could do some beauty marks. A little beauty mark. Cute. And I want to do some vibrant eyeshadow on her because she is very creative. So maybe Maybe she loves to play around with some glitter. And I like this one, honestly. What color does she have on? Maybe we can do something like that in like a little glossy lip.
lips. Ooh, that fit. I like her lips, but I think, yeah, I want her to be smiling. So we're just going to make them a little bit more plump. Since she has, oh, I didn't do her earrings. Can you see them? Maybe we'll just do some simple gold tubes. She just likes some simple gold tubes. And that's easy for me as well. I'll go in and change those later. So I said that I want to have her, so I said I wanted for her to have more of like an eco lifestyle type of feel because she is very earthy. Um, She's very creative. Maybe she makes her own outfits and stuff like that. So let's actually go to eco lifestyle and let's see what we can find that might suit her style a little bit better. And I do want to keep that orange, but I don't know if there's anything that's really orange. Oh, there is something like that or maybe even this like that's giving me it's giving me good vibes let's do that and then we're gonna put on some jeans maybe unless eco lifestyle has some cute pants oh they do hmm i really want to use this top though i don't want it to be like too chromatic maybe this and i forgot to give her some more tattoos so let's go to her body and I think I am gonna just break her hips out just a little bit. Oops, let me bring her calves out some and her, her hips. Maybe break her stomach out just a little bit. I mean, her body shape was fine the way it is. I'm just, just going in and adjusting just a few things. Ooh, I'm thinking she would have some really pretty, like colorful tattoos. Like that's super gorgeous. Maybe we'll do that. I wonder, can I add one on her other arm? Maybe something like that. Hmm. See, I like these, but they look like two different textures. I would, I would like it to be the soft light texture like that instead of looking more this. This is what I'm talking about. I like that. Maybe we'll do that. And then we'll take off that one that's on the other arm. Maybe she just has a sleeve and a back. Little stretch marks. Let's make them dark. Or maybe these. Let's do these. I like that. Just the little details. And then for shoes, I'm gonna remove that jewelry too. And maybe since she's always painting and stuff, she just doesn't paint her nails. So we won't do nails on her, but we will pop on a little silver ring for every outfit. Um, and then for shoes, does she have a ring on set? Okay, she does. Let's go by Eco Lifestyle again, since we're gonna make sure all of her outfits are Eco Lifestyle. Maybe she just has some little sandals on. I don't think I like that color though. Maybe just those default. I like it. She's giving me creative. <laughs> So this is Alice. This is her everyday outfit. We changed her hair to pigtails. They're from um, Snow Escape. So that's the only thing that's a little bit different. But I think that since she is creative, she would have some very vibrant hair. And I thought I changed her eyebrows too. Oh, I did. They're like grayish. So her outfit is from Eco Lifestyle. She has, um, I changed her tattoo and then I put one on her back as well. Also gave her some stretch, stretch marks and things along that nature. So that is Alice's everyday. Here's her formal, her athletic, her uh, sleepwear, party, bathing. This is her hot weather and then this is her cold weather. So I'm gonna go in and update Alice's outfit, staying with Eco Lifestyle and then I'll show you her final reveal. Okay, so this is Alice. I had a lot of fun actually styling her because I got to use a lot of things that I typically steer away from, like a lot of the crazy eyeliners and stuff like that. But since Alice is a creative spirit, I wanted to really hone in on her, like having her own style. Things might not match, but that's just Alice. She's very... She's very in tune with herself and very expressive of herself as well. And I think that's going to trickle down to little Olivia as well. This is her everyday outfit. Everything is pretty much from Eco Lifestyle minus the athletic, I believe. But everything else is pretty much Eco Lifestyle. I found the dress. She had the necklace on, so I changed the necklace to that gold. And we put on some Eco Lifestyle heels. And she has some bracelets on from that pack I don't know the name of. But for her makeup, I decided to go bold with her eyes and a lot of her outfits do have that bold eye makeup look but I think she looks really pretty for her athletic this is what I decided to go with it's just something that she probably just throws on I imagine she goes for jogs and stuff like that but she doesn't work out too much since she's outdoors doing a lot of like handiwork and also maybe she's crafting tables and stuff so that's her like hobby is to do woodworking so just something that kind of protects her arms and her legs 
cheeks and she just kind of throws it on and heads outside. Her sleepwear, I just thought this black looked so pretty on her. So I kept that and then put some little bunny slippers on her. Party wear, so I did decide to change it up for Alice because this dress is just so pretty on her. She kept the same shoes, but the jewelry is pretty much the same. Mine is like the necklace. Um, and then for her makeup, look at it. It's like purple and blue that matches her dress as well as her hair. It looks really good on her. So that is Alice's party wear. For her swimwear, she had this bathing suit already on, so I just changed the color of it, threw on some flip-flops, and then also some sunglasses and a bucket hat that goes with her outfit. So that's her swimwear. For her hot weather outfit, she has the shorts on from Eco Lifestyle as well as this burnt orange top, and then I just chucked on some little sandals for her. And then for her makeup, it kind of resembles that gold, that peach, that burnt orange that's in her outfit, and she has some glitter on as well for that but I really do like the way that makeup looks on her Alice looks so cute and then last but not least this is her cold weather I never use this hat from Eco Lifestyle but I was like Alice seems like the type that doesn't care about like matching so she kind of just throws on whatever she feels confident and good in because she's always like busy so this is her cold weather from Eco Lifestyle and I like the way Alice turned out it's very different but I think it kind of goes with some of her um her likes and dislikes her her personality so that is alice and let's move over to her dad dennis kim lewis oh dennis he is very buttoned up i think that's his yeah neat perfectionist so i imagine him to be very like buttoned up with everything let me actually fashion choice masculine let's go into dennis's hair i think i might give him a little bit more of like a mustache let's see something like that and i I am gonna change his mouth because just like Eric they just look like they're frowning and I don't imagine them to be like a pouty type of family I imagine them to be very loving and very devoted to Olivia so um they're probably smiling all the time and I want to keep that <laughs> Ooh, I never use that beard maybe we can do this a little chin strap maybe we'll just do a little shadow and for his hair not long it's gonna be bald something like that maybe I don't know if that's like super textured though because his hair looked pretty straight like wavy so maybe let's filter by straight and wavy something that's short let's see what might look best on Dennis maybe something like this it makes him look a little bit younger he is an elder but I imagine he still has his hair maybe not a fade not a boosty fade Ooh, maybe this one from dream home decorator I think that might be a little too full I think I like this one so we're gonna go with that for Dennis let me make sure all of the outfits have that hair okay so the last couple ones do not there we go so Dennis is very polished and he's neat so I might filter let's see let's do polished we'll have a very polished Dennis and I like his skin details already and I like his eyebrows as well so I won't change those why can I see him with this I can see him with this on uh, that doesn't look like his style Maybe something like that. I mean, he can always do that button up, but I kind of like this from Parenthood. Maybe something like that. That color looks really good on him. So let's do that. And then I imagine him to wear slacks with every single out. I don't like the way those are fitting. I might well, just widen it up just a little bit. Okay, these are not fitting like I need them to. Ah, Dennis. I really like that shirt and I don't want to change the shirt. We're going to make these work. Let's do, okay, black. Let's do black. And for shoes, I, I wish the thing wouldn't stop taking the style off of it. Let's do polish. Maybe he wears like, maybe these because they kind of match with his little, his little handkerchief. So that's Dennis. I like it. I feel like Vivian makes sure she's like up to date. She's like, Dennis, the clothes you're wearing are very outdated and I'm I imagine them to be friends too. I haven't really played with this family, so I don't know the dynamic. They could be enemies, I don't know. Uh, but this is Dennis's formal, not too bad. He's athletic. Now it wasn't bad until he put on that Kangalong cat and the Ron DMC glasses. So we will change that for his sleep. This is his swimwear. Where's, no, no, no. I was like, that's his swimwear. No, this is party wear. And um, 
It's looking a mess. It's looking a mess, Dennis. This is his swimwear, his hot weather, and his old weather outfit. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna filter by polish and see what looks best on Dennis. And I might do a few stylized looks on him as well, just because some of those are really good for polished outfits. So let me get him together and we'll do the final reveal of Dennis. So this is what Dennis is looking like. This is his everyday outfit. I tried to make sure that some of the outfits resembled like the polished and neat and outdoorsy, but there's not much that we can work with. So we we do what we needed to do, what we had to do, and I, I, I'm pretty satisfied. I might go in and tweak some stuff, but for right now, I think he looks pretty decent in all of his outfits. This is everyday. This is Dennis's formal. This is a stylized look, which I liked all the mixed patterns because I am imagine that's where Alice gets her creativity to kind of show who she is so he plays up with a lot of different colors and a lot of different hues of a solid color so you'll see like blues but all different types of blues blacks but all different types of blacks in some of his outfits so this is his formal for his athletic I imagine him and Eric have matching little shirts and stuff they go shopping because he doesn't want his uh, father-in-law to be outdated so he probably picked out this little outfit for him but that is Dennis's um, athletic, his sleepwear. I decided to go with this gray theme and a lot of them do have, I think everyone has these little bunny slippers on. The only one that might not have the bunny slippers is yeah, um, Eric, which I'm gonna go in and change it because maybe Olivia wanted everyone to have bunny slippers. So we're gonna give him some little bunny slippers as well. So that is granddad's sleepwear for his party wear. He had that Kangalong hat on anyway, so I just decided to work with it. So I found an outfit that was under the category of polished and kind of resembled it, made sure the colors kind of match to match this hat. And actually Alice has a similar hat for her, her cold weather. So that is his party wear for his swimwear. Now, I kind of did Dennis dirty with this one, but I, I tried to do my best with some of the limitations that we have um with items i imagine he does wear a shirt to like the pool and stuff um so i i wanted to keep that black and green um and then i put a little hat on him as well that had that black and green accent okay dennis i'm coming for his hot weather this is what came up as polished so like the docker the little slacks and a cottage living top so that is his hot weather and then for his cold weather i forgot that he was outdoors at this point so I decided to put this outdoorsy hat on but actually I think I might change it because I really did like that Kangalong hat that he had on for some of the outfits so maybe we'll do that corduroy one and then this is like a polished like little scarf and some slacks and some fun boots as well so that is dennis and now we're going to go over to sweet olivia i am going to change up the texture of her hair because i think her hair right now is yeah it's straight she's so adorable and maybe her mom lets her have some funky hair um we're gonna do it by straight and afro texture maybe not short let's let's try medium first <laughs> Wait. Oh, I love these braids. We're gonna do braids. She can get a little twisty twists, or she can have. That's cute too. I like the Bantu knots because she is creative. But these braids are calling my name. I'm gonna have to do the braids. She is adorable. Let's look at her little face, her little skin details. Maybe we'll give her some little freckles. Maybe a little birthmark. Oh, sweet little Olivia. We'll give her some braces too. No, she's not gonna have any makeup on. So she is a goofball. So she's a silly, silly girl. Let's. I wonder, can I search? No, okay, I figured I couldn't. So it looks like she likes pink, pink and green and blue. Little crop top. Oh, I do wanna give her some little earrings, wait. <laughs> Let's do those little pink ones. Oh, she is adorable. I kind of like that top. And this one's giving me business. A little business girly. A little turtleneck. Oh, these are so cute. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. So she is creative in a goofball. Okay, I showed her with this one and I do like that. So let's do it in a little pink color. And then maybe we'll do some vibrant pants or a little skirt. Maybe some pants. Oh, those are cute. That swatch is cute. Let's do that. And then for shoes, maybe she just has some little converse. We could do those in pink also. 
It looks like she already has some bracelets on, so we'll keep those. And maybe we'll do some fun socks. Maybe we'll just do plain socks. No, I like the fun sock. Maybe something like that. We're gonna put a little nail polish on her, some purple nail polish. Maybe her and her grandma go and get their nails done for like a little granddaughter, uh, grandma date. So that is little Olivia's every day. She is so precious. I love those braids. I miss having braids. Can't get braids with the short hair. But last summer, I had the box braids all summer long. Okay, you need to sidetrack. Okay, her formal. Okay, athletic. Her part. Oh, sorry. I'm ahead. Okay, sleepwear. Her party wear. Okay, so I don't know why these last couple ones, they're not giving me my cornrows. Where is it? Girl, where the braids at? Ooh, uh, maybe we'll do those. Those would be like her later in the year hair. Back. Here's her sleepwear, her party wear. Love the combination, Olivia. You got a lot of stuff going on. Her swimwear, her summer, and then her winter. So I'm gonna get little Miss Olivia all dolled up and then we'll do a final reveal and then we'll be done with the Spencer Kim Lewis household. Okay, so Olivia has to be my favorite. I am biased. She is just the cutest little thing ever. So this is her everyday outfit. All of her little fingernails are painted as well because I imagine her and her grandmother have little girls days and they go out and stuff like that. This is little Olivia's everyday. Here's her formal. She had yellow wand for quite a few outfits. So whatever color she had on the default, I just kind of played with that as well to kind of keep her little random personality that story progression gave her but this dress is from nifty knitting i believe yeah this is a new pack that i got and the little shoes are from parenthood which is also a new pack her earrings are pretty much the same it's from that pack i have no clue i think it's like street style or something so she has those earrings on for every single outfit i just changed up the colors so that's her little formal for her athletic i decided to do just a color combination of everything because i want to keep those little fun long socks and i wanted to play up some green that's in her sweatshirt and kids dress themselves anyway so we made her a little mix matchy but I think it looks really cute on her for her sleep she has those bunny slippers and this is just so cute I had to use this for sleepwear I mean we could do something like this but honestly it's giving cuteness right here so I did a little brown and then she has a camo um, little bonnet on for her party wear kept the same dress from formal but we decided to do these fun little leggings that she already had on some yellow converse and then a uh, uh, just those little bracelets that she's she's been wearing in a lot of outfits so that's a little Olivia's party wear and then for the last three her hair does change up with like braids so this is the little swimsuit she already had on I only added some flip-flops and some sunscreen for hot weather it's just so cute I had these green bands on this little funky dress on it's so pretty we kept it in default color and then she already had this jewelry on so I kept it the same because She's just that girl. Olivia is that girl. So this is her cold weather. This is from Seasons, which I never noticed that this little outfit was already here. So I decided to do that and then nifty knitting. Yeah, little shoes. And then her jewelry is the same. So this is the Spencer Kim Lewis household. Let me put everyone in there every day really quickly. Give me one second. Okay, so we have Eric Lewis. We have Vivian Lewis, Alice Spencer Kim, which is, hold on, Lewis. Lewis, yeah, Spencer Kim, and then we have Dennis Kim, and then we have Olivia Kim Lewis, and that is the fam. They are looking so cute. So in the next part of this episode, we'll actually go in and renovate their house. They're just looking so cute. Um, so yeah, there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below any upcoming videos that you might want to see. I have a few. I actually have them written down. So we have astrology challenge just coming up soon. We have have um, another build challenge and then we have some more townie makeovers some renovations and then uh, some more build challenges lots of build challenges so I hope you enjoyed if you did make sure those fun things like give it a big old like and subscribe down below if you haven't already but until then I hope you're doing swell have a wonderful day and I will see you very soon bye